a switch is going to use a content addressable memory or a CAM table to make its forwarding decisions. This table is often referred to as a MAC address table. We can use those terms synonymously. And I've given you a very simplified topology on screen to show you how a CAM table is populated. We've got a switch with a couple of ports. Port 1 connects to PC1, port 2 connects to PC2. You see I have indicated the MAC address for each of the PCs, and we begin with our CAM table empty. In our table we're saying this port is associated with this MAC address, or these MAC addresses. We absolutely could have more than one MAC address available off of a single switch port, because maybe there's another switch attached to that port. And we've got multiple MAC addresses off of that other switch, so no problem, we can have multiple MAC addresses known off of a single switch port. But to keep this example simple, we only have one MAC address off of each port. The way we start to populate the CAM table is when we receive traffic. Let's say that PC1 sends out a frame into the network. Maybe it's doing an address resolution protocol request. And when that frame goes into the switch, the switch interrogates that frame and it looks at the source MAC address in that frame. And it says, based on this frame that I just received on port 1, I have reason to believe that this MAC address lives off of port 1. And the same thing for PC2. When we receive a frame coming in to port 2, we'll look at that source MAC address and realize that that MAC address lives off of port 2. And as a result, our CAM table becomes populated like you see on screen. Once we have a populated CAM table, the switch can now make intelligent forwarding decisions. Now, when a frame comes in and it's destined, the destination MAC address is, let's say, 5855CAFA1551. The switch says that MAC address lives off of port number one, and it can forward that frame out of port number one.